No, uh, I would not call it imperialism if the People's Republic of China invades the uh, Republic of China. And first of all, uh, because I believe that they are all China. So, no, I, I would not call that imperialism. But that's not really the point, because that's not what imperialism is. Imperialism is not just when one country invades another. It's not even when one country invades another and annexes it or seizes, takes control of uh, a territory. Um, didn't that exist under colonialism? Uh, yes. Um, and it existed prior to colonialism. And it's not just where imperialism requires capitalism. Uh, invasion and seizing of territories does not. Uh, monarchies do it. So it's happened under feudalism. Uh, <laughs> I mean, there's a whole world history that shows different societies invading and annexing and taking uh, territories and land for themselves, right? So even assuming that, you know, PRC has no right to o uh, ROC, uh, let's assume that you're correct there and, and they still take it, that still by itself is not imperialism, right? So in short, no. No. So I'd like to ask you, by whose definition of imperialism would this be imperialism? And here's from uh, Lenin's book here. Par uh, chapter is The Parasitism and Decay of Capitalism. Lenin says, As we have seen, the most deep-rooted economic foundation of imperialism is monopoly. This is capitalist monopoly, monopoly which has grown out of capitalism and exists in the general environment of capitalism, commodity production and competition, and remains in permanent and insoluble contradiction to this general environment. Nevertheless, like all monopoly, this capitalist monopoly inevitably gives rise to a tendency to stagnation and decay. As monopoly prices become fixed, even temporarily, so the stimulus to technical and consequently to all progress disappears to a certain extent, and to that extent also the economic possibility arises of deliberately retarding technical pro uh, progress. But China is not stagnant. China is growing. China is making progress, both economically uh, and uh, socially.